up on a quick flight to Reno because today we are staying at the Peppermill Hotel and Casino. You guys commented after the last time we were in Reno that we absolutely need to come and check out the Peppermill. I'm really excited because Ruby, Peppermill, we're like this. Let's go head on in. Just got checked in here at the Pepper Mill. Now we are in their Tuscany Tower. That is their all sweets tower and we're in their standard king. Let's take a look. As I said, this is the Tuscany Tower King room. They're all suites. This one is 550 square feet. Super impressed when we first walked in here. You have this gorgeous bed with a really pretty like Romanesque headboard, end table, some really beautiful lamps, a ton of lighting in this room. Really makes it feel bright and airy. I'm loving the carpeting. I will say right off the bat, super, super clean room. So our room is equipped with everything you need. Huge floor to ceiling mirror when you first walk in with a nice size closet. Personal fridge for your drinks. They gave us bottles of water. You've got a coffee maker here. Big desk and wardrobe area here where they have your TV. There's also like three tables in here, several chairs. There's also a really nice detail around the ceiling. The crown molding is this like copper patina finish. It's just a nice touch. It looks gorgeous. Our view is wonderful. We're on the ninth floor in room 23 and we have the best view of the pool. You can see the mountains tucked in the back. A very welcoming room. The luxury continues definitely here in this bathroom. Right when you walk in it, there is a vanity area to do hair and makeup. Then you have a dual vanity sink here. This really pretty like orange Tuscany marble, some fun new bath products to try, a huge deep soaking spa tub, and a giant walk-in shower with two shower heads. So that is gonna be so nice. The water closet behind us. Again, the lighting in here is great. It's so bright. It's easy to see what you're doing when you're getting ready. They also have a TV in here in case you really wanna lay out in that tub and relax and watch something on the TV. After our first trip to Reno, a lot of you guys told me we had to come back and stay at the Pepper Mill, which is very on brand for me. We've never been here before. This is a total first impression. The room is really impressive so far, so I'm excited to check everything out. We've got a great reservation for dining. The pool is open year round. We have so much to see and do. We need to get started. <laughs> up on our tour we wanted to show you the pool now I'm really happy that the pepper mill does have one pool open year-round it's this pool behind me they do have a bigger pool that's the one you could see from our window that one is closed for the winter season however this is a really good size they have another little waiting pool on the other side and a hot tub here 
the steam coming off of this pool right now, I actually did dip my hand in and feel, it's warm. It's a pretty good temperature if you did want to swim right now. It's 38 degrees and I've been in Vegas too long, so no swimming for me. However, in the summertime, this is a beautiful pool area. I like the Tuscany theming. I could see myself definitely enjoying a day at the pool here. down to the casino floor now first impression wise it definitely feels a little bit like a maze that's because I think that they've added on to this over the years it sort of has these little areas that it shoots off into with a bunch of different places to play they have everything you could ever need in a casino here slots upon slots upon slots they've got table games their minimums were about ten dollars there's a big poker room a really nice high limit room a great sports book the whole vibe of the casino is so unique they have this really nice warm glow lighting coming down from the ceiling and then they have these screens that are depicting cityscapes and landscapes and it just adds to this own atmosphere so i am enjoying being here i'm excited to play away from us we've been gambling like crazy but it is time for dinner there are a ton of restaurants in here for fine dining they have romanza that's italian they also have a chi that's the chinese restaurant they've got a fast casual mexican restaurant a couple of delis and cafes that are open 24 hours but we are here specifically to try the mini their high-end steakhouse we've heard some amazing things this is tucked back in our tuscany tower so it's probably one of their newest restaurants I'm excited, let's check it out. Made it into Bimini Steakhouse. I have to say, this is a really fancy restaurant with some cool <laughs> twists. They've got more of those screens showing all the landscapes. Your menu is on an iPad, which just feels extra bougie. Now, we are not alone in this adventure. Our friend Dan is here, Vegas Low Roller. We ordered some table side cocktails. I got the smoked old fashioned. They smoked my glass over some cedar chips. He has got the lavender lemon drop. They actually chilled his glass with this like fancy chiller. How's your cocktail? How would you describe Fantastic. it? Fantastic. Refreshing. With Very light. refreshing. Yeah. yeah. Mine's the total opposite. Mine's that deep smoky char. We've got our bread basket. We ordered some apps. It is going to be a really good night. Cheers. Cheers. We started out our meal with some appetizers. We got the gnocchi pomodoro. That was incredible, so fresh. All the tomato on top, and there was like a hint of some sort of peppers in there. It had a little bit of kick. We also got the French onion soup for the table, and oh my gosh, they recommended it. It was incredible. You definitely want to get that. Our mains here, I got the Australian Wagyu filet. It was aged 28 days. This is such a beautiful steak. It's easy to cut through. They served it with a garlic demi-glaze sauce and the sauce has really amped it up. It's absolutely delicious. I got truffle macaroni and cheese on the side. That's killer. I can taste the homemade roux in it and the truffle is this nice back end, not too crazy. Mr. Ruby got the short rib and it was absolutely killer. The mashed potato underneath, the meat was really tender. Overall, everyone at the table said the meal was really good. I forgot to mention they also gave us this adorable palate cleanser. It was pineapple sorbet with a little bit of Prosecco. That just kind of sweetened the deal. It made the meal really nice and high-end feeling. So everything has been absolutely delicious so far. Oh, we are full. Bimini was really good. I highly recommend it. It is getting to be the evening time. It's time for a nightcap. We're in the pepper mill, so two guesses where we are heading to. So 
several bars and lounges in the Pepper Mill. The Terrace Lounge over by the Tuscany Tower is really beautiful and they had a live band going. But we're at the Pepper Mill, so we had to come to the OG Fireside Lounge. I'm so excited. It's so similar to the one in Vegas, but they've recently renovated, so there's like crushed velvet on their sofas, new carpet, but the layout is very similar and it's making me feel all the good vibes. I love Pepper Mill Lounge. I've got the pomegranate margarita, super delicious, fruity, tart, a little salt on the rim. So this is the absolute best place to enjoy a drink and end our night. We might do a little gambling, but we will see you guys all in the morning. First off, I do want to say thank you to the Pepper Mill. They did invite us and our friend Dan out here to do some gambling. And while we were here, we said we wanted to do a hotel review as well. I know some of you guys don't love when we have a hosted video and we are invited by the property, but just know that my opinions are always going to be my own. And honestly, building this channel from nothing and having hotels like recognize us and want us to come and review is huge for us. And we're so grateful for it. So. Thank you for watching our videos. We couldn't be here without you guys. So I did look up the prices of these rooms. It looks like the cheapest on weekdays is like $140 before tax and resort fees. And I think it warrants it. These rooms are absolutely beautiful. The furniture feels so expensive and high end. It's incredibly clean. The bathroom is gorgeous. That double shower head was so nice. I didn't get to use the tub. We didn't have time, but just it feels luxury. I also want to point out that the bed was particularly comfortable. I don't normally talk about the beds because we're always so tired that I don't really notice, but this one was very comfy. Now this is the Tuscany Tower. They're all suites. They are currently renovating their original Pepper Mill Tower and they're going to be changing up all of those rooms. Those are more of a standard room and those are going to be cheaper. Let me know if you guys want us to come back and review those rooms. I would happily come back to Pepper Mill. The casino is really cool. Like I said, we're primarily here to gamble and this is absolutely a gambler's dream. I also just absolutely love the atmosphere of it. It's unique. It's got its own style. It feels very welcoming. Once again, thank you guys all for watching and I'll see you guys all in our next review.